have a look at my new tire. Brand new Schenkel 700. However, I have a tale to tell. A tube tail. Yeah, I haven't ridden for, um, geez, it's been about four days because I've had uh, several tube failures and uh, they were all with STI tubes. The STI heavy duty tube that uh, Kelowna Yamaha sells. That's the only one that they stock. Anyway, I'll uh, fill you in about it. Yeah, so what it was was uh, I was going to change the the tire to the new tire and I had a uh, brand new STI tube that I got from Yamaha and when I went to uh, cut the tire off and I went to install the tube and I partially filled it and looked at it and checked it over as always and I noticed that the valve stem was cocked way over to one side you know I mean Usually it points to center, but uh, or a little off, but this one was really off. Anyway, so I took the uh, tube and tire rim to Yamaha and I, I said, you know, hey, uh, need a different tube. Showed him that one and I said, and now I'm in a hurry, so you guys put it on. They give a good price for that, so I don't mind, you know, saves me the work. And they did. They swapped the tube out for a new STI tube and put it on. Everything's fine. I take it home, I install the wheel, take it for a five mile spin, bring it home, and then I'm going to go out later in the day and I notice the tires flat. So I look, I thought, don't tell me I, I ran over a nail on the brand new tire and brand new tube. Eh? But I didn't, there was no puncture. So I took the wheel off and brought it into Yamaha. And I said, well, I don't know, you know, you guys either pinched the tube or something. And so they had a look at it. They took the tube out and noticed that it was a manufacturing defect, they said. And so I asked specifically what. And they said that the um, where the stem attaches to the tube, it separated right around that patch, you know, where the stem is vulcanized into the tube. And so, okay, now that's two defective tubes and in around the stem area. So they grab another tube and they put it in right away. I appreciated that. I take it home, go for a five mile ride just to test it out because I'm kind of paranoid now. And next morning, the tire is dead flat again. It doesn't hold air. And uh, same problem again. The tube separated in exactly the same spot. So that's number three STI tube within the space of just several days that was faulty. And I'm thinking, man, how lucky can I be, eh? So instead of, of course, I don't want another STI tube and they didn't want to install one either. Um, so they, they said, well, we'll get you another tube. But they don't stock any other ones, so they had to order it. And they said it'll be about a week. And I thought, oh my God, to get a tube, a week? They had to get it from Montreal and, and have it uh, ridden out by horse, I think. Anyway, um, but they were very good uh, in the end because they phoned today. Uh, that was Friday, I think it was, or Thursday, Friday, I think. Anyway, they phoned today and uh, they sourced around and found another tube of the size that I need and uh, in a different make, a Michelin. So I brought the wheel to them to this morning and they put it in. So I'm hoping all is good. I mean, you know, it's gotta be good now. Same thing couldn't happen with another make, not right after what I've experienced. So it's a bit of a, a bit of a horror tale.
for me anyway, you know. I got some great practice at removing and reinstalling the wheel, of course, in, in uh, record time. <laughs> Whenever I've removed the wheel, for some reason, I've always uh, slackened off the chain adjusters. And I realized, you know, after doing it a few times here in, in succession, I realized I think I'm working harder than I need to. I don't need to slacken off the chain adjuster, so I found a way of doing it, no problem. Keep the same adjustment very quick. Anyway, that's my tail. My tail of woe. Socks, eh? So, STI, STI tubes. I, uh, I sent them a, an email. They never answered. But I, I, I sent it to them because I figured, you know, you guys should know about this. And I don't know whether it's uh, uh, all of their tubes that I got. Maybe the valve stems were all cocked off to the side like that. And then if that's the case, that would put stress on the uh, area where that's vulcanized into the tube. So I don't know whether that's the problem or they've got a material problem. You know, the patch where the stem was put in wasn't actually delaminating. It was, the rubber was splitting open right at the edge of that, um, the outer edge of that section. So it's either, like I say, the cocked off valve stressing it all and ripping the rubber, or they've got a, um, I guess they're probably butyl, you know, maybe they've got a material problem. Anyway, it's not my problem anymore, but it's theirs, and it could be potentially other people's, so I'm hoping they sort it out. Because when I need a, a tube in the tire and replaced, and I don't want to deal with it, I like being able to go to Yamaha here in Kelowna because they, they do it fast, and they, they, they give you a really good fair price. So, I appreciate that. I don't want to have to, in future, source my tube elsewhere and then bring it to them. So now I'm a bit paranoid, so I'm not going to go for a long ride here, even though it's a Michelin tube now, but I'm going to go for a wee ride and go home, leave the bike, check it in the morning, and then celebrate. So I'm going to leave you folks with that, uh, that tube tale of woe. You have a wonderful day. I'm going to have a better day than I've had in the last few days. Mind you, I didn't let it get me down. Just got to deal with it, right? Anyway, take care. See you on another ride.